Headbangers Ball is on location at Foundation Form 91. We're here. The award ceremony is over. We're here with the guys from Megadeth. And um, you might have known Dave Mustaine, the guy that says that Ricky Rackman doesn't have a clue in a recent magazine article I read. Oh, bitter, are we? <laughs> Not at all. But you guys did win. You like this? Yeah. We've never seen you look so dapper. Hey, listen to look me. Look at the shoes. Hey, man, man. blue suede shoes. But remember, I work at MTV. I'm wearing this at work, so now the entire suit is a tax write-off, man. That, that was the whole thing. Of Hollywood. No, that's the way to oh, think about the it. The truth is, you're going to court to get your license back. Last time we talked, you had gotten your license taken away, and Marty oh. even said that monkeys fall from trees too. Yeah, and he was so referring good. to you as being a monkey falling from a tree. You, you won three, three out of five third. awards tonight at this foundation's four ninety one. About you. And Marty at least keeps them to himself, though. He <laughs> Marty keeps the bad things you guys say about me to himself. We're going to be back and talk to the guys in Megadeth in a little bit. I didn't, I didn't hear that part. I did once, but I fell asleep. We'll be back talking to the guys from Megadeth in a little bit, but right now let's play a video that's really good as far as they know. Go to hell from Megadeth. We're back here backstage at the Concrete Foundations Award, and uh, the awards are over now. These guys displaying... Displaying their our jewels. Bricks, their country. <laughs> their country. Our <laughs> no, jewels. these ones. But this is cool. I mean, you were nominated for five, and you got three awards. That's very cool. Though you got the award for best thrash band. And we were there any that you and and also top, top radio, radio cut. cut top radio album. Now, were there any of these awards that you were pretty surprised? Did you know you were going to win three or we didn't know you were best gonna win. best thrash band? Uh, God, there's so many bands that are actually more deemed to qualify for the the epithet or, or the, the the name the moniker thrash you wouldn't really call yourself a thrash band would you a thrashed band maybe <laughs> no, but when you're on the grammys and you're nominated for award then you'd consider us a thrash band when you when you're in the category with a bunch of other bands that aren't thrash bands right yeah at concrete we're a pop band yeah <laughs> we are. now we're, we're commercial considering that you were up for a grammy how does this compare to the Grammys other than well, the we didn't get that so we don't really know actually <laughs> but I mean was there was there you know a different feeling than when you found out where you were nominated I mean honestly I'm sure it's quite a thrill to be nominated for a Grammy but this one is from the people that are really into the music you know I mean right this there. award looks a little bit different than yeah. a little gold record player I know you could buy those things at a trophy shop man what these? no the, the Grammy dudes besides you know there's one Grammy three of these it's not the size it's the frequency this is this is what matters you know and this is from our people. This isn't from a bunch of people that give sympathy awards to losers that do cover songs. <laughs> we'll figure that out, we'll contemplate that, and we'll be back at the Concrete Foundation Seminar here in Los Angeles, California.